Hey guys, it's Tommy CM. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very special park spotlight. Um, I found a recreation of Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the UK um, on the workshop. Now this has been created by Arthur Perno 2. Um, now what, what he's done with this is the park is split into different phases. Um, he's done phase one, two and three. Um, and four is coming soon. Um, however, phase three in particular has a lot of the main attractions that you'll find at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, but what I'm going to try and do is kind of just go through the different um, the different parks just so you can see all of what he's created because some of it is absolutely fantastic. Um, really does look like you know some of the some of the buildings, some of the attractions that um, that you'd find there. Um, and uh, you know, for those of you who've never been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, kind of gives you a bit of an idea as to um, as to what to expect um, at the park. Um, so uh, yeah, so the, the first two phases, um, it kind of it kind of gradually grows into it. Um, as I say, most of the attractions are phase three, um, but uh, I will be starting off going through the main entrance in phase one um, and kind of just checking out the rides in each individual bit. So. Uh, yeah, really, really excited to take a look at this. If you do enjoy the video, please do remember to give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out. And if you do also want to stick around for any more videos, then hit that subscribe button. Um, I would very much appreciate it. But without further ado, let's visit Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Right, so here we are at the uh, the entrance, or at least one of the entrances to, uh, to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, now, as I say, this is over three different maps um, and the park is fairly spread out it's not a traditional theme park you're not going to find every bit of land covered um, it's not uh, the park's not you know massively themed so uh, you know so please do bear that in mind um, so um, let's uh, let's go and take a walk down here so we have some toilets etc You've got your main entrance uh, building here. We've got like tickets and information inside. Um, over this side, you, I think I believe there's a theatre um, where they do like uh, shows, etc. Um, and it, it's either magic shows, touring uh, artists, or even just um, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach themed shows themselves. Um, down here, there's usually like performing characters on this stage, kind of welcoming you as you come in. You kind of walk past and. Um, they're there awkwardly dancing whilst you just kind of ignore them. Um, <laughs> it's completely different in the UK compared to the uh, American theme parks in terms of the characters. Um, but yeah, and then uh, and then around here, uh, what, what, else, what else have we got? Beach amusements, you've got like, arcades, etc. Um, so we'll go through the main entrance here. And you come out. I love this. So this is one of the Kentucky derbies where um, we roll the balls uh, to move the horses along. It's one of the like the midway games. Um, I love the way he's done that with the with the animatronics. I think that is fantastic. I really do like that. Um, but yeah, there are lots of midway games and arcades down here. Um, over the other side, I mean, bearing in mind, this is all, you can walk across all of this. I know he's just got a path for this section at the moment, but you can walk across all of this. Um, so over here we do have a drop tower, uh, which is the Ice Blast. Uh, I believe it is. It might still be Tango Ice Blast, or it, they might have just dropped it to Ice Blast. I can't remember if the uh, if it's still uh, sponsored by Tango Ice Blast, but uh, but yeah. So you got there's, there's a drop tower at the main entrance. Um, over this side, got rain capes here. Opened in two thousand, so so this is Valhalla. So this is this is actually um, this is actually closed at the moment in real life. Um, Valhalla is, but uh, we'll just take a walk around here and see what he's done. There's some rides I'm not going to ride in this video, including the log flumes, because um, the there's that many coasters at Blackpool, and I'd rather ride the coasters. So I'll kind of just follow the route of the log flume. So yeah, it's not. It's not overly themed in here. As I say, it does get progressively um, more themed and better because I think on the Phase 2 and 3, I think the creator um, had got a PS5 by that point, so there's more gone into the park. Um, but yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of nice um, rock work and terrain work here and ways to kind of hide in the log flume as well. 
Um, back out through here. Around. Drop all the way down there. Oh wow, that looks cool. I like that. I like the way that arch is over. Uh, wow, the, but blimey, the theming really does come out up here. I wasn't expecting all this. Um, yeah, I mean the star panels do look great at night, don't they? They look fantastic. Around here. I mean, that's a great creation in itself. It, the way he's used the statue. Is it the statue he's used? Yeah, it is. He's used the statue there, coloured it, and it, it looks fantastic. Um, and then if we end up going all the way down here, down another drop. I mean, this is a really long... You can see why it's at 61% with hardly anything in this section. Um, such a long ride. And there we go, back out to... Uh, yeah, exit to the left. So here we are, exit, and back out. So yeah, that, that's uh, that's Valhalla. As I say, that's closed at the moment in real life. I believe it's supposed to be reopening next year. I think it's just closed for a refurbishment. Um, what you've also got to remember, for those of you who don't know much about uh, much about Blackpool Pleasure Beach, um, it is a, a very old park. Um, there is numerous rides here that are over 100 years old. Um, and so... There is some that need to close for maintenance, um, you know, every so often. So there's always something I think that they're trying to cut, sort of keep, keep going, as it were. Um, oh, I like this the way he's done this. So this is this is a ride. This is actually a ride up here. So um, the guests, you can, it's the flying machine. So you, you kind of go up here. Otherwise, he's got clothes there. You go up. You sit in a rocket, and the rockets rotate. But how well is that? How well has that been done? That is, that's superb. I love that. I think that's fantastic. Really nice work, that. Really, really nice. Open 1904. There you go. Um, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so over here we have, as I say, the arcades. Um, what have we got here? Impossible. I'm not... I'm not 100% sure what impossible is there. Um, I, mean, I assume it's like a walkthrough experience or something. Uh, so there's phase. So phase two starts there. So when we come back to phase two, we're on there. Now, the only other ride in this phase is the Grand National. Now, the Grand National, for those of you who aren't aware, um, the Grand National is racing wooden coasters, which you can see here. Now I can tell you that this station is amazingly accurate. <laughs> um, I, you know, ignore ignore the pathing because the paths are very hard to put down in this game to look um, legitimate. But in terms of the actual station, it's very tight in here. It's very cramped, and you kind of go down this section, um, and you're kind of squished against um, squished in. And also, I visited a few months ago um, during 2021, and with COVID restrictions still in, um, there was even less room. Um, so yeah, it was very, uh, it's very cosy, should we say, in uh, in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, they are racing wooden coasters. I would, uh, I would tell you now that it's one of the least comfy rides I've ever been on. However, I would always try and do it, no matter how uncomfy I was. Um, it, it opened in 1935, so it is the best part of 100 years old, the, these coasters. Um, so, uh, yeah, racing wooden coasters, and we will go on them uh, now and, uh, and experience them. So, uh, yeah, this is the Grand National.
There we are. That is a that's a fantastic recreation. That is. Um, I should probably explain the, for those of you who don't um, know much about horse racing. Um, the Grand National is is named such because it's um, because it's based on uh, horse racing. So the Grand National is the biggest uh, horse race in the UK. Um, hence why it's racing coasters. Um, hence why it says they're off because that's the start of the race. Um, there's a lot of obviously dips. So there's a lot of like hills and ear time, uh, and that's obviously like the uh, horses going over fences. All the different signs here: Beaches Brook, uh, Valentine's Canal Turn. They're all sort of names of um, you know parts of like a, a horse race uh, track. So uh, yeah, very um, very nicely done. I I love the recreation. He's so so well done. Um, and then having the buildings as well, just kind of surrounding it so the tracks not on its own the buildings just add um a lot of realism to it um so uh, you know because uh, i mean the, the one thing about blackpool is it's it, it does like space um the park does so when they put in a new ride it is very uh very much very close to a lot of buildings and and other areas so uh yeah i do like the fact he's got these big outbuildings and this and the big uh you got the big um indoor building there for um Valhalla so uh yeah really really good recreation that so uh we will wander down here and we will go and jump in to phase two and here we are in phase two um so yeah straight away you got the sign that says phase one um available for download um just before I continue going through the park itself uh, I just wanted to kind of demonstrate what um, he's done on the outside. Now, for those of you who know, uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is on a coast. Um, in, I mean, literally, where that road is there, the beach is like here. Um, so it, it is a coastal town. Um, and part of that, the Blackpool Illuminations um, are one of the sort of main tourist points of Blackpool to go down and see the lights at night. Um, and he has done such a fantastic job of replicating the buildings and the road outside of the pleasure beach here um these signs almost look like the genuine pleasure beach signs um that he's used it from the game there so that is really good um and then also you've got buildings like uh, ripley's believe it or not um which is like a weird weird and wonderful museum uh you got obviously the food and drink places lots of toy shops um but yeah just the way he's done the way he's done the street down here um, and I will just uh, I will just have a look at night time as well, just so you can see it's all lit up there. So uh, yeah, he's done a fantastic job on that. I I absolutely love that street. Um, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because you know the, it, it's this sort of thing that takes time and effort to to put in. And if you just kind of fly over it and don't even take the time to sort of appreciate how long that's taken, you know it, it's. Um, yeah, it's it's only fair to have a have a bit of time to appreciate that. So uh, yeah, fantastic build that. Um, but we'll go back over to the entrance, go back to daytime, and we will continue going in. So over here, we have Trauma Towers, which is a, a dark ride, as you can probably imagine in here. Um, well, say dark ride. It's an indoor. It's an indoor, um, indoor flat ride as opposed to dark ride. I say dark because it's inside, but you know what I mean. Um, so uh, yeah, got the uh, got this little flat ride in here. Way out. Uh, you've got like a water fountain that you can walk through. You always get you know people on there, mainly kids getting soaked. Um, but a nice little water fountain feature there. I think what would what would look fantastic and make a huge difference to this park is if the creator I don't know whether the what trains has he got you know, he's got concrete wall and concrete it would have been it'd have been good to have um, just rather than doing that um, it'd have been good to have tarmac as a spray because by doing that you could have put a path of a path without a curb on. Um, and you know an asphalt path, but then spray the rest in tarmac, and it would all look as one. Um, so I think that would certainly um, 
you know, have, have been a, a big difference. Um, so uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe one for tweaking in the future. Um, over here we have a few uh, food and food and drink areas. You can obviously see there. And over this way, got some more midway games here. Just some you know balls and nets, etc. More food places. A bratwurst. Uh, what we got over here? More midway games. Three bowls for two pounds. Hooker duck, although they are the biggest ducks I've ever seen at Hooker duck. Uh, again, more. I mean, this bit is mainly midway games. Um, apart from the ghost train, which is here. Now, this is, as I say, Blackpool is a. It's a very classic. Um, park, but it does have new coasters. It is constantly building, um, so uh, yeah, it does have a good old classic ghost train. So we'll go around here just so we can see the sort of stuff that goes on in here. Goes up and in. I mean, it's very, very nicely decorated. I do, I do like the uh, the different you know theming going on in here because what. What you've got to remember as well is that the ride itself isn't overly done. Um, you know, these are sort of basic rides to an extent. So, uh, you know, um, nice little open doors going out. Oh, he's axing on the track there. Um, through here, lots of nice animatronics, lots of different stuff down there, down to the bottom. Lots of signs don't, saying do not stand up, because that is obviously a, a bit of an issue. Oh, under the floor. So yeah, oh, I mean all the spooky animatronics going off in here, which you'd obviously imagine. Out there, you've got the underground. <laughs> Down the front, and then back out to the entrance. So yeah, really, really nice ghost train that. Really nice um, recreation of it as well, especially the top bit here. The way, oh, what's he used there to make the skull? Artificial snow, nice. Nice, I like that. Good idea. And then he's got the uh, the skeleton's hand grabbing the train there. Yeah, really, uh, really like that. I think that's a uh, very nice way of doing that. Down here. So there's the arena I mentioned about where the shows are. So you have this huge arena out the back here. I'm assuming nothing's inside yet. Um, huge arena out the back where the shows take place. Um, and then down here, we have Alice in Wonderland. So this is the uh, this is literally a, a Cheshire cat ride. Um, so again, this is another track ride in the park. There's quite a few track rides at this point, but as I say, when phase three shortly, um, all of the coasters are down that end. Um, so you've got the rabbit hole there. I mean, look at that. It's, these are really good builds, these are. Down the rabbit hole into some weird and wonderful world of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Chess pieces. It, it really is fantastic. Who are you? I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> Mad Hatter's tea party. There's the Mad Hatter. The Walrus and the Carpenter. I do I do wonder what went on when they were making Alice in Wonderland. It is a very... Um, very bizarre story <clears throat> and very bizarre characters. But this track ride, I mean, you know, th this isn't this isn't a quick build. This is the effort to make this is uh, is incredible. And then oh, this room's upside down. Very nice, very nice. See all the playing cards here. The cat out on the top and. Back down, remain seated, through there and back out. So yeah, another fantastic 
fantastic work there. And also the fact to tie that into a building that's joined on um, to the other side as well. And it's uh, yeah, just really, really clever. Really clever. And that genuinely looks like the um, like the outside of the Alice in Wonderland ride. That's exactly what it looks like. So, uh, yeah, even more impressive. Uh, some food and drinks, some toilets. License bar. Up here. And look at this for, for an indoor bit. There you've got the part of the gold gold mine. There you've got the. I mean, the rides just go. The rides just go everywhere in uh, in Blackpool. They really do. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the river caves. Here's your bar. Back out here. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not detailed to the standard of you know every every ounce. But the thing is, he'd be making seven, eight, nine maps if he was going into that sort of level of detail. The path takes up a huge amount, which. You know, you you got to kind of bear in mind that if you did the path any other way, the build the build counter would be going up and up and up. So I completely understand why he's not doing that way. Um, so we'll go along here, and just here we get to the wooden, well, sorry, the wild mouse, uh, which is an old wooden wild mouse. Now well, this is only testing at the moment. Let's just make sure everything else is open. Uh, yeah, all open. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is, this actually isn't here anymore. Um, this was removed. I did get I did get a chance to go on this um, years ago at Blackpool. Another very old, very rickety ride, but again, it's a it is a classic uh, classic ride. So yeah, the Wild Mouse. I mean, <laughs> the, 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 the stats are irrelevant, aren't they? Really. Um, so yeah, we'll speed up and uh, enjoy. Yeah, absolutely love that. That brings back some good memories. That does. It's um, <clears throat> it's a very, you know, very old, very traditional ride. Um, nothing overly special about it. Uh, you know, it, it is a, as I say, it's a very old ride. As the sign down there says, opened in nineteen fifty eight. Um, so again, it's another ride that you know is is extremely uh, extremely old. Um, but it, it's it's it, again, it's just a classic, and I love the frame he's put around here. The frame he's built. Um, we also use, yeah, mouse ma on hoarding. Yeah, so is it? So he's built that separately around the uh, around the track. So there's there's the track there, and I mean that that itself is two percent. That's two percent of the ride. <laughs> Just that frame. So uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic work. I love that. Uh, you've got a shooting gallery down here. Always nice to see a shooting gallery. Uh, so this is the log flume. This is the other log flume that is um, still present in the park. So the, this is the river caves, where you go into where you go into the tunnel of love. But uh, yeah, this essentially just takes you around uh, some caves underneath. Around here, I, I, again, it, it, the way these are all decorated, you kind of, 
you look at it from the outside, you think, how on earth is this park at 80%? There's the food court that we saw last time. Um, you think, how on earth is this park at 80%? But it's because when you look at these track rides, they're so well, there's, you know, they're so well done. There's so much theme into them. And it's a very, it's a very hard park, I would say, Blackpool Pleasure Beaches, to replicate because it's, it's not done in a traditional manner. It's everything is is so cramped in, so it would be so hard to, to do, I think. Um, so I have absolute admiration for, for how good of a job this guy's done. Um, but yeah, so that that's the river caves. You come off over there. Um, I believe these are more like um, these are more arcades and etc. Some toilets down there. Go up here. Now this this is log flume. However, this log flume closed in two thousand and six. So this is a replica of the old um, ride that used to be here. Um, I love the I love the way he's done the structure on top of there. That's great using the coaster supports there. I love that. Um, but yeah, so this uh, this log flume uh, was open since the, I want to say, 60s. Um, and yeah, I mean, literally absolutely nothing special about it, as you can see. Um, but that's exactly what it was. There was nothing special about it. It was just a classic log flume. When it opened, it was the longest log flume in the world. And then due, just due to maintenance and wear and tear over time, that they decided to remove it. And in its place now is Infusion, which is a uh, SLC, um, suspended looping coaster. So, uh, yeah, that is in phase three, I do believe. So uh, we will come back to this section in phase three, just so we can uh, see what's there now. We're going along here, so you've got more sort of food and drink places along here, kind of. Uh, what's he got down here? I'm not sure what ride that's supposed to be. Astro Swill. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be, um, to be fair. Pick a mix. Uh, gold mine ride. Now, again, I believe this is a classic one. Uh, this now, I, I may be mistaken, and I apologise if I am, but this now is a Wallace and Gromit ride. Um, I, don't know how, I don't know how well known Wallace and Gromit is outside of the UK, but um, no smoking. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how well known Wallace and Gromit is outside of the UK, but uh, yeah, we'll just have a look around here. This is he's basically done a, a, um, a track ride here, but uses the drive tyres to get it round because he wants a, a thinner track, which I completely understand. And he obviously wants the mine cart as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is really, really nicely done. I know I'm having to have a look around because I'm... I'm kind of I'm trying to um, whiz through it a little bit because I don't want this video to be hours and hours long um, because there's plenty of rides to take a look at. But uh, yeah, this is this is fantastic. Dynamite turn back. <laughs> and then you come back out to the start. So uh, yeah, I believe that's another classic ride, but. Um, that is really nicely done with the uh, with the terrain work there. I love how he's kind of merged that merged that into the buildings. That looks fantastic. Uh, and then down here we've just got a cafe, and we're back to the other side of the arena. Is there anything else we're missing down here? Other than uh, other than this road down to the arena that cuts through down here onto the street so what we'll do is we will now go and enter phase three so uh, yeah see you see you and just like that we're into phase three so uh, yeah really uh, i hope that transitions worked okay <laughs> um but yeah so this is the uh, this is the majority of um the main attractions at blackpool they are all in this sort of section of the park um as you can see very heavily filled with coasters. They all intertwine. They all go underneath, over, through each other. Um, and it's a not really nice mixture as well, um, which is why I think Blackpool does get a really good reputation is there's a whole, you know, there's a whole mixture. Obviously, you've got the big one um, in the background. I'm not just saying that because it's big. It literally is called the big one. Um, 
You've got the Big Dipper here, another classic wooden coaster. There's the SLC where the log flume was originally, um, which is what this building is here. Um, and then if you go over this way, you have Icon, which is the latest, which in my opinion is the best uh, coaster in the UK. Um, the you know the, the just the whole ride of that is absolutely fantastic. Um, you have got a bobsleigh coaster, you've got a, a boomerang coaster called Revolution, and you have got a Steeple Chase, which is out the back here. So uh, yeah, there's a very very good selection of rides, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get started having a wander through and having a look at them all. Now the first one I'm going to look at is the Grand Prix. So the Grand Prix is basically um, there's a fortune teller there as well. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> um, the Grand Prix is basically a uh, the the petrol or diesel cars, um, and you just sit in them and you drive around. And when I say this goes around the park, I literally mean this goes around the park. These cars just go so far. You end up going all over the place down here. Up to the side, down, down to the back, no stopping, down here, because there's three lanes as well. That's the other thing about these, or two or three lanes, I can't remember. Um, you come back down past the icon queue, back down here, you start going back up this little spiral again, all the way, keep going round, keep going round so you get dizzy, and then you get back into the station. It's a very long ride, but it's um, yeah, it's very um, and also it's got the it's got the Disney World sign there, which I like. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, really, really good ride, and the, the fact he's built that that layout is incredible as well. Rather than just putting in a car ride and being done with it, it's um, yeah, really, uh, really impressive stuff. So I think what we'll, we'll start off with Infusion which is the SLC you can see here, the blue coaster. The sign the sign is really good as well. The sign is literally just like the ride. Um, and Fusion does get... Oh, look at these signs. Wow. How has he done that? That's really clever, the way he's, the way he's started that out. It's just got a small rectangle there. Yeah, very, very clever. Yeah, got to give him props for that. That looks fantastic. Um, so, yeah, um, Infusion does get a bit of a reputation for being a terrible ride, as do most SLCs. Um, so, uh, but it is what it is. It's not my favourite coaster at Blackpool, that's for sure. Um, but I, I, I do know people who enjoy it. So... We'll wait for it to come back in, and then we'll take a ride on it. Not in the building. Uh, infusion. Go down here, front row, and we'll just wait for her to hit the go button. Any minute now. <sighs> come on. She's not going to, is she? No, nope. you know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it in test mode. I'm not waiting that long. Let's go. In, let's enjoy infusion.
So there we go. That was uh, that was Infusion. Very very much like the uh, the layout of the normal ride. Um, it was a little bit quick, but it's very hard to try and recreate every ride perfectly. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, it is what it is. It's not my favourite coaster. Uh, for me, for me, I'm I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of SLCs. I'm I'm in the majority boat, I think. Um, but I can see why it's here. It's it's completely different to everything else at Blackpool. Um, so in that sense, it's quite nice for a change. But yeah, it is what it is. What I do love and what I did notice when I was on the ride it was um, this this work down here, putting in the concrete walls for this edging here. Um, this is very realistic as to what this layout is because when you're stood queuing for infusion you're stood down on this sort of queue path it's a bit like a bridge and when you're stood down here the the big one keeps flying past and you know all the structure you can see at the bottom here i mean it's, it is a huge structure it really, you know it really, it really is in real life it's a huge structure so uh yeah i'm just i just kind of noticed this this work he'd done down here uh, which i thought was really cool and the other thing as well, I know I mentioned it earlier, but again, the high street that he's done out here. Um, so we can go back, we can, you can see the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum there and the toy places, etc. But he's continued that road out. Now, the road isn't quite as detailed as um, as the previous phase. However, as you can probably uh, see at the bottom of the screen at the minute, um, he's at 100% um, with a warning sign. So it won't let him put in any more uh, into the park. So... I can fully understand why you'd rather focus on getting the coasters in as opposed to building the high street. So, uh, yeah, absolutely no issues with that. So, we'll go over here. And I think we will take a ride on the Big Dipper, if we can get down to it. That's the exit. The big, where's the entrance to the Big Dipper? Oh, it's over the other way. Yeah, so we'll go on the entrance to the Big Dipper here. Um, now, Big Dipper is over 100 years old. This is the oldest ride at um, Blackpool. Um, and, yeah, it's very, very uh, infamous. Just like the Grand National, it's not... Um, oh, well, apologies, it's not over 100. It's almost 100. I keep saying it's over 100. I, I, for some reason, when I, when I thought when I went, I thought it was I thought it just got over 100. But, um, no, built in 1923. So, uh, yeah, two years off. It's 98. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this coaster is very infamous for, for its age, for how long it's been there. It's a bit rough and ready. Again, a bit like the other wooden coaster. It's not very comfy. It does kind of give you a bit of backache, but you know, it, it's that old and it's that vintage that, you know, you, you've just got to come in and ride it. And this, can I just say what well, sat in the front of this coaster here? This is so lifelike. <laughs> this is so lifelike to, to have the queue going around there, and then you've got the little um, fountain structure in the centre. This, the way the way this guy's recreated these buildings is is brilliant. I love it. So uh, yeah, here's here's Big Dipper.
there we go. So that was the uh, that was the big dipper. That is, so, <laughs> I keep saying it, but that is so lifelike. Um, this structure here is fantastic. This is like the, um, you know, this is one of the significant sort of things that you spot at Blackpool is the Big Dipper sign. Um, so yeah, recreating this station here is some absolutely fantastic work. And what pieces is he used there? Glass wall. So he's just putting loads of different glass walls. Like that is, yeah, that is honestly phenomenal the way he's built that. Um, and if you've been to Blackpool, I'm sure you would totally agree with uh, with me there that that is um, that is something special the way he's built that. Uh, so we come off the we come off the Big Dipper, uh, and we'll go down on the far side. I think uh, is there a path down here? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there is to the train station. Um, so yes, yeah, so the, the train station you get around here again. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to go on the train because the train literally goes so far around the around the uh, around the park. It only has the one station, but look how I mean. Look how traditional that train station looks. That is really well designed. That's honestly. Uh, I mean, as well as some of the other buildings, that is definitely one of my favourite um, builds he's done because that really does look like the uh, traditional. Pleasure Beach, um, or Pleasure Beach Express, as you can see there, um, station. Honestly, that that is fantastic. You just kind of come down here and just wait on the platform. Um, but yeah, I mean, just to quickly show you, this train, a bit a bit like the car ride. This train goes literally all over the map, all over the park. There you can see it through Icon, past Infusion, all the way down here. Back past the big one again, under the tunnel, past the hotels, round the back. It's, I mean, <laughs> it's such a long journey. Um, and I also like that it's got the animals as well. There's the odd animal around the edge of the track. So that's a really nice, um, really nice touch of realism. And the train crosses over its own path. Um, and then it comes down here. Round the back of the service area, round the back and into the station. It's a really, really long train ride, but really fun as well. It's a nice way to break up the day because uh, you know you, you you are going on lots of coasters, so it's a nice way to break up the day. So uh, yeah, but the buildings around there as well all look fantastic. You know the the structure of the bridge, this little train train house here, um, it all blends in really well. It's all very nicely put together. Uh, but yeah, we'll hop on over here. So this is uh, this is Avalanche, or the Avalanche. So the Avalanche is oh, he's even got the musical beers. The, these beers are animatronics in the park. We, we played the trumpets. I love that. That's very nicely done. Um, yeah. So this is the uh, this is the Avalanche, which doesn't appear to be open. Oh, I'm gonna have to open all these again, aren't I? Let's do that. There we go. Um, so yeah, so this is the Avalanche. Now the Avalanche, um, if you haven't guessed, is a, a bobsleigh coaster. So or alpine coaster, whatever you want to call it. But it's a um, yeah, is it? I call it a bobsleigh coaster. Um, this is a very uh, very nice, very nice um, feel to the station as well. This is very similar to to what you'd expect. Uh, opened in 1988. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more um, wooden, even even more wooden than this um, inside, and a few more posters. But this is I can you know if I was placed in this in this room and said what ride is this, I would name this as Avalanche straight away, um, which is exactly from a from a recreation. It's exactly what you want to see. Um, so we'll speed up and wait for the guests to get in because uh, the train will go then. So uh, yeah, enjoy the avalanche. I'm gonna go front bumper on this, I think, just so. Uh... Oh, actually no, we'll go chase just so you can see it going down the track.
There we go. That was uh, that was Avalanche. It's a, it's a very very fun coaster. It's not it's not very long, but then again, bobsleigh coasters don't tend to be too long because it's it's all about getting the downhill um, the downhill speed to generate the uh, generate the you know the fun on that one. So, uh, but no, very uh, very nice coaster. Very nicely done. I love the building. I love the sign. The the signs in the buildings are very impressive in this park. I have to say, as well as the recreations, but um, in particular, that that sign is is fantastic. Um, but yeah, that was Avalanche. So we'll continue down here. As I say, over this side to the left, um, we do uh, we do have a you know a kind of like a, a children's area in Nickelodeon Land. Uh, this is Whip. Uh, what do we have down here? Do we have a? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a path that goes up that bit, but he may not have built that. So we'll go back around the other way, underneath here, and we get to the best coaster in the UK icon. Now, can I just say that sign is spot on? That sign for icon and that entrance is genius. Really, really good stuff. That's exactly what Icon's um, station and etc. looks like. Um, and then from this viewpoint as well, I have to say, this is exactly what you see. You, you see a mixture of Infusion. You see the big one. You see the Big Dipper. You see Icon. And the, you know, they're all in the same shot. It's, um, yeah, very, very nice work. I'm going to pause it because that train's just about to leave. So I'm going to go in here. Oh, and that again. This is this station is brilliant. One 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 thing I I just think he he could do. Oh, I you know, he can't even change the path because there's too many pieces. I was gonna say just get rid of the blue thing um, and match it with uh, match it with that. But no, I mean that is um, that's genius. I love that. I love this station. I think I think there's a, a few more like, flames, but other than that, it's uh, yeah superb. Right, we will uh, we'll hop on Icon, not this one, that one. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Well, what a fantastic recreation that is. That is honestly just, that is so close to uh, to Icon. I mean, it's hard to get the speed balance in, right? Just, and that's that's purely because of the game mechanics, but the actual layout of it is, is superb. Um, I absolutely love that. It's even got the mist um, on the two tunnels, etc. ready for the, for the next launch. Just the whole thing is, the whole thing is fantastic. I I, I can't I can't say anything else. I, I'm honestly speechless. It really is, really is a good recreation. So yeah, fantastic job on that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, 
And the other thing as well is when you come on in, you can see these people sat on this terrace here, um, just eating and drinking. You can see all the trains come like and the brakes slamming on, and everyone kind of relieve, you know, relieved that they've got back to the station. So um, yeah, I absolutely love that. Uh, I don't know where to head, ne head next. We'll have a look over here. So this is Coasters. So that's the um, that's like a restaurant and bar. Uh, but we'll go back down here. I think we're gonna go back to the icon entrance, haven't we? There is a there is like small track rides down here. So where this green bit of grass is, um, there's the uh, Eddie Stobart uh, ride, which is uh, lorries that you can go around in. Um, but they're mainly like junior rides. But I can again, you look at the build counter. It's the only it's the issue with console is you've got to kind of sacrifice some things if it gets too big. So I can fully understand why he hasn't put that in. But yeah, th and I don't blame him for using this icon logo over and over again because that is terrific. That is absolutely terrific. So we'll go over here. So look over this side first. So we'll go all the way out. So these are um, these are like hotels out the back. Um, so you, obviously you know you can come and stay on site if you'd like to. If you go up here, we get to a Burger King. Very nicely done. Very nice. And how simple is that to do the Burger King sign? That, that's not even. That's not even like anything to do with custom shapes. That is literally just using a red sign and putting text on, and it actually looks like the Burger King sign. Um, and then he's done the logo up there. Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. Um, you got the, the so this is the uh, this is the red arrows ride where people you, you can you control your own spinning car um, and some people can control it better than others. Um, but yeah, very very nice building here to to accompany that. So that, this is all based on the red arrows, which are a, um, a famous um, acrobatic plane um, group in the UK. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just mesmerised by all of this. I can't, I can't get over it. Uh, right now, steeplechase. Now, I was intrigued to see how we do steeplechase. So, steeplechase is uh, the cars are one person each. There's, there's actually three lanes instead of two, but I, I get why he's only done two. Um, he's got the path here for the third one, and basically, they, it's a classic um, horse riding uh, coaster. So, you, one person. Or two, if you're an adult with kids, you sit on the horse and you go off at the same time as the horses in the other two lanes, and um, yeah, you just you know you just kind of go around the track. So I'll, I'll put a photo up here just of what I mean by by this coaster, just in case you've not seen anything like this before. Um, but I I really appreciate the fact that he's used the single rail coaster to um, to sort of replicate this. So we'll hop on. I'm going to go for yellow, I think. And for the yellow one, hope that wins. Um, so yeah, this is a this is steeplechase. Um, so yeah, in, enjoy.
fan- fantastic. I mean, you can't get any closer to the actual ride <laughs> other than other than actually having the horses themselves to ride on. Um, that is uh, that is as close as you're going to get. The hills, the trees, the terrain, it. Everything here is made exactly like the ride. Um, so, yeah, absolutely top marks for that. And the station itself, look how, look how well the station's built with the... How he's done the cables. They... They're superb. Honestly, I... The, the, this recreation... I, I know this I know this parts where you might think, oh, that looks a bit... That looks a bit basic. For example, this path. For example, you know, this path, let, let's be honest, this path is just a straight bit down here. In a real world, the guests are walking on all of this bit, either side of it. Um, and it's frustrating that you can't build more path because it takes a more piece counter. So if the path was bigger, I think this part would look fantastic. Um, you know, it, it would pretty much look perfect. Um, but, uh, you know, there, there is things that you that people have got to do to kind of... Not necessarily cut corners, but to make sure that things fit in well. Um, and unfortunately, the, the path is one of the sacrifices. But in terms of actual, you know, replica, this is some of the best stuff. It really is. Um, I'm going to leave the big one till last. We're gonna. That's going to be the last one to go on. Um, I'm going to look over here first. We've got the merry-go-round inside here. I mean, that's a really nice building. I love that. I'd like to see people do this more with flat rides, just in general. Never mind doing it as a as a recreation, um, because I think theming flat rides like this just makes them look so much better. It gives it so much more character. Uh, and then this is this is Revolution. So oh, let's just have what's what's this building over here? I can't remember what that building is or whether it is anything. Um, but yeah, so Revolution. So this is a boomerang coaster where you literally just got you got the stairs all the way up to the top here, um, and this structure. This is that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal, and the way he's built all of this using let's see his coaster supports. It's just his coaster supports all the way to get. I'm just gonna pause that so that train doesn't go. To get all the way across, and he's built all of that. It's it's about that as well. What? Wait, hang on. Look how small those pieces are. So if he started, if he started there, look, all of these are small cylinders. That's crazy. That would have taken so long to do. Oh, I absolutely applaud him for that. That look. I mean, it, it looks spot on. It, look, it looks perfect. The time the time he spent on it has definitely not gone to waste. He's done that perfectly. Um, but, yeah, wow, he's got the patience of a saint to, to sit and put all that together. Um, but the structure for Revolution, you know, all of this is, is phenomenal. This is exactly what um, you see of Revolution in the distance. Um, and then the station itself, this frame all the way around it, um, just... Just brilliant, brilliant stuff. Um, so we'll go on it, um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, experience this one. So this is the second to last coaster. As I say, it's a boomerang coaster. So uh, yeah, this is Revolution. And there we go. That, that 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 is it. That is revolution. Um, it's just that, uh, but it's um, it, it launches you off with some force when you go on it. Um, so uh, yeah, again, I mean that that's a perfect replica in terms of in terms of all the coasters that look the same as their real life counterparts. This one is is for me a mirror image. Um, they all you know they're all spot on in terms of their layouts etc. But revolution in particular is. Um, 
for, for me is you know is spot on in terms of how accurate it is yeah brilliant brilliant stuff Right, so we've now got to our final ride, which is the big one. Um, now, first of all, how good's that? <laughs> so the big one, uh, for those of you who don't know, used to be sponsored by Pepsi Max. It used to be called the Pepsi Max Big One. Uh, and because of that, you go through what is essentially a giant can of Pepsi at the start here. Um, I believe the Pepsi can is actually still there. They've not taken down the Pepsi branding off of it, but the but Pepsi don't sponsor it anymore. Um, so, yeah, Pepsi sponsor that. So, first of all, that's fantastic. <laughs> Second of all, look at that station. Look at the way that's been put together. I'm just, you know, you've just got to admire the work that's gone into that. And then having the little outbuilding down here as well, it's, yeah, fantastic. And all around the queue line lot, You've got these crescent moons. So anyway, before we go in the queue line, we'll go down here, big one. There's all the ride photos. Uh, that's the exit. Where am I going? I want this one. So we'll go up here. The, I mean, the, the queue lines are slightly different to what's in a normal park, but um, again, build counter. I keep saying it, but yeah, build counter. Um, so yeah, so this is the uh, Big One station. The Big One opened in 1994, I believe. Um, so, you know, it's a good 27 years old. Um, and, uh, yeah, when it opened, it's, I mean, well, it still is the biggest coaster in the UK. I know that. Um, I, can't, I, th I think it was the tallest in the world when it first opened. Uh, but I may be wrong on that. So, yeah, wait for these guys to hop in. There we go. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the big one. And don't worry, I will fast forward that lift hill climb because I don't want to add another 15 minutes to the, uh, to the video. <laughs> Well, there we go. That was the uh, that was the big one. Now you can see why I uh, I skipped that lift hill. <laughs> or well, I didn't skip it. I, I uh, sped it up because that takes a long time to go up. <laughs> I love the fact he's got these like power boxes on the side here as well. I love that. that that's a really nice bit of detailing. Um, but yeah, so that was the big one again. I mean, superb remake. Uh, it is. It's a fairly, I don't want to say simple layout, because it isn't, it is a case of just going up and down and up and down all the time, um, but in terms of, in terms of a coaster, it is such a, you know, such a backdrop and sort of skyline coaster, it really is fantastic, um, but I love the way he's built that, it goes through all the right angles and, you know, it obviously goes through the wooden coaster, goes through the Big Dipper there, at the right time there's a break one at the right time it, it's just yeah all, all works so well together um 
But, uh, but yeah, that is that's that one, and that is that is it for um, for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed that because for me that is such a good uh, such a good mix of remakes. In you know the the park may be different colours to what you what you'd expect. The park the pathing may be slightly different, or there might be a, uh, a you know small ride or small shop missing. But in terms of what we can do on uh, what we can do on console. Um, and especially when it comes to making signs and pictures and logos, for example, you know, I'll keep going back to this icon one. Um, you've got to bear in mind that this is all custom built. It is all made by the creator. Um, we can't import anything. So, yeah, you've, it's absolutely fantastic work um, and just uh, just deserves recognition. Have I just seen this? He's put a, he's put a chain He's put his own chain up there. Wow, that's fa oh, that's fantastic. So when, when you're when you're watching the big one, you can see the chain go around underneath. Um, and he's specifically gone out of his way and put that chain on. Wow, even even more impressive. And and he's put that on there as well. The little box at the end. Um, so yeah, so yeah, as I say, I really hope you have enjoyed that. I've I've loved those recreations. I think they've all been uh, all been absolutely spot on, um, and it would be fantastic if we could fit it all into one park. Unfortunately, we can't. But he's done such a good job with what he's been, you know, what he's been able to work with. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, do go and check it out on the workshop. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And if you are new around here and want to see more videos, then do give the subscribe button a little click and other than that i shall see you all in the next episode thank you very much for watching goodbye